for the record, I'm last because I'm the worst speaker. <laughs> and, um, I have been watching the dominoes fall all night and I'm very nervous, so I've got this bottle of water just in case they go all Marco Rubio on you. Um, <laughs> I'm Gavin Buckley and I'm from West Street. This is our story. This was the situation on West Street when we first opened West Street, uh, opened Tsunami. We opened a restaurant in an empty building that had been vacant for probably 12 months and we took a chance at the wrong end of the block. People did not want to park at that end of the block. Uh, we know that art um, affects cities in a positive way. Soho used to be a rundown area full of uh, hippie artists and now it's one of the most expensive shopping districts in the world. We, we know that people want to move their companies to Austin because Austin um, is, has grown culturally and has amazing cultural events that people want to associate their tech companies with. We see people moving back to Detroit. Detroit it was run down, but people are coming there through the arts. This is one of the most exclusive restaurants in, in uh, Melbourne, and people enter that restaurant through the graffiti back alleys. That would never have happened before if it wasn't for artists. Even the favelas of Brazil are, are gaining attention now through art. These are areas that no one would ever dream of going to, and now they're un they're, they have a worldwide spotlight. So this is our story um, of West Street. Um, we, when, I, when we came to West Street, you know, I, I know, re um, sorry, I know uh, that artists and restaurateurs go into areas that other people won't go into and take chances. I don't know if it's because of the cheap rent or if it's because of the proximity to their drug dealers. Um, <laughs> Who knows? But we take the chances. I am now going to ramble on about our West Street completely out of sequence to these slides because I don't have a story. But when we started Tsunami, it was at the wrong end of the block. And because of you guys in this crowd, we were successful. We managed to expand Tsunami and buy the building. A couple of years later, the city were going to tear down um, five, uh, hundred, you know, five houses on West Street and, we can, and build an 800 car garage. It would have been the worst thing they could have ever done from West Street. Garages are empty all weekend long, they're empty all night long. It would have torn the soul out of our street and it would not have been a connection to Maryland Hall. So we convinced the city to save these houses and, and, and do a development called the West Village. We did a Thai restaurant, we did a, a modern American restaurant, we did a salon called Hudson Fouquet, we did a gift shop called Object and we uh, gift an art shop and we did a, um, uh, uh, um, a fashion store called Astrid. So these, uh, these things went really well. You know, we, we converted crack houses. These are literally crack houses. We used to wake up the crackheads in the morning, and these are a couple of famous ones here, sorry, <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> that were on Dr. Phil, and have them help us uh, demo, de demolish the, house, uh, demolish the houses and do work on the houses, and we ended up with this project. Um, in 2010, we, um, we started to drive some arts initiatives. We did the chickens. So we, we based that on the Chicago cows. And, um, and our, our goal was to um, connect Ramshead to Maryland Hall and make West Street walkable. Um, and th after the chickens, we moved on to murals. And public art is, um, uh, is so important because public art can be shared by people from all walks of life. So it doesn't discriminate. So we, um, we, we believe in that. And so we have driven West Street, uh, West Street's personality through our events. The um, first Sunday Arts Festival gets thousands of people at these days. The, uh, um, the, uh, the Fringe Festival is, is a huge hit and is a very alternative for the town. We have an international food festival. We have Dining Under the Stars. These are things that we as a community want and we, we um, put them there and people show up. It's like a field of dreams. So um, I, I wanted to point out to you the first um, slide of West Street, um, how it was um, plagued with prostitution for five blocks. This um, Sunday uh, at the Chocolate Binge Festival, we are gonna light up five blocks of West Street with Christmas lights. And this is to show you how far we've come. Uh, if you'd asked people to go to West Street for a festival 10 years ago, they would have thought they were going to get mugged or something like that. We, um, we have built a community on West Street and it's all thanks to you. And, um, <laughs> but now we have new problems. <laughs> Ugly men like Brian Callahan and myself 
um, have to race in high heels. <laughs> the potential for artists to get moved out because they can't afford um, the rent anymore and they can't afford artist-inspired lost lofts is an issue. Um, and my problem with the city, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> um, but anyway, I urge you to all come this Sunday to um, uh, the Chocolate Binge Festival. At five o'clock, we're gonna pull a light switch. We're gonna have the mayor pull a lever and then five blocks of Westrick will be magical. Thank you so much.